Guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an educational informative video based on the shrine. Now this week's shrine is a little underwhelming but we're going to go through it piece by piece. Now the first perk you're going to be looking at is called Bamboozled. Bamboozled is actually a pretty fun perk to use. However on some maps it doesn't make a really good play. That also being said there are a lot of breakable walls in Dead by Daylight now. That being said it's rendering Bamboozled not useless but less as effective as it normally is. It increases your vault speed by 5, 10, 15%. Stacks with fired up, also stacks with certain add-ons that increase your vaulting speed. Uh, that being said, when you vault a window with Bamboozled, it'll seal the window for 8, 10, and 12 seconds, I believe. Therefore, a survivor will not be able to vault it, but you can vault it again as killer. Pretty fun perk, pretty cool, not gonna lie, teachable from the clown. Clown also comes with Hop Goes the Weasel, so if you don't plan on purchasing the clown DLC, then Bamboozled might be a superior choice for you. Moving on to the next perk, Botany Knowledge. Botany Knowledge allows you to heal 11, 22, and 33% quicker, both, and it gives you efficiency. It allows you to heal faster with med kits and with your hands, provided you have self-care. If you do not have self-care, you cannot heal yourself. However, with a med kit, you can prolong the charges, and you can maybe get two heals off, depending on how many grates you land. Every time you land a grate with a med kit, you preserve one charge out of a med kit as well. That's going to be Botany Knowledge. Cordet Teachable. Wouldn't highly recommend unlocking it. Better options on the table. The next perk we're going to be looking at is Cruel Limits. Now, Cruel Limits is a hard perk to explain. I generally recommend it on the Doctor, but here's why. Whenever you hook your obsession... Okay, I'm thinking of a different perk. Let me try that again. Every time a generator is completed, all generators within 32... or all windows within 32 meters are going to be sealed for 32 seconds. Not great. It's a Demogorgon Teachable. So Jeff just finished the generator. He can now no longer vault windows around that. Now, there is a new perk called Blood Hex... Hex uh, Blood Favor, that allows you to M1 a survivor and seal uh, pallets, so technically it could work with that, but I do not recommend it as it only activates when you lose a generator and things like Tinkerer activate before you lose a generator. For example, Bitter Murmur activates after you lose a generator, making it a yet less useful perk than Tinkerer, for example. I do not recommend this perk at all, I think it is a very bad choice. I would rather have something to stop people from completing generators rather than having a small reward for 20 seconds after a generator is completed. Providing that being said, if a generator is completed, why are you going towards where the generator is completed? Generally the right place to go towards where a generator is not completed. Not always the case, but in a lot of scenarios it is. Now the next perk we're going to be looking at is Technician. Technician is a very good perk for a brand new player. If you are new to the game, I recommend you level Megan or Nia, or Feng Min if you're willing to purchase a DLC. If you're not willing to purchase a DLC, Technician is a very good perk for you. Whenever you try and land a skill check, if you miss a skill check, it no longer makes a sound notification for the killer telling you where you are, except you get a bigger penalty, an additional 5%. Therefore, if you're struggling to try and land those skill checks, this can help you out a hell of a lot. For an experienced player, I do not recommend the perk, but for somebody new to the game trying to learn how to get better at skill checks, highly recommend it, great perk, and it is a paid DLC, or a DLC you can unlock with Iridescent Shards, so you can always come back to it at a later point in time. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this week's Shrine. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do education for Nobdivity Killer and Survivor content five days a week over at Twitch if you guys want to tune into the live streams. Once again, guys, I appreciate having you here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the fog in the next video.